Now, if you're someone who's adding a lot of loft through impacts, you're hitting really high shots, really quite weak as well. I'm going to show you a feel really simple with the right hand coming into the golf ball that will immediately result in more compression and some more flighted shots, hitting better golf shots in general. So I'm John from Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So hitting overly high and weak shots. Really what creates that is as we're coming into impact, that is us throwing our angles coming into the golf ball where that club head is beating the hands to the ball. So you can see my hands are very much behind the ball, club head is making contact here. So that will result in that club gaining too much loft. It will also result in the club face pointing a little bit left as well. So if you guys hit high and left, this is you for sure. So. This is ultimately what we want to do. We want to be able to get the opposite. We see all best players in the world. We see them having their hands a little bit ahead of that golf ball because that will create a little bit more compression on the shot, a little bit better flighted shots, and it will just result in better struck golf shots in general. It's a move you want to do. You'll actually gain quite a bit of distance doing that as well without even swinging the club faster. But this is normally a problem that's caused by something else in the golf swing when we see someone coming into the golf ball and chuck in their loft. So I'm gonna put a card up here for a video exactly on that. So a really in-depth video of why you're casting and early releasing into that golf shot. Because this video, we're purely gonna talk about a good feel that's gonna really get those hands ahead and getting yourself forward. So when we're talking about feels to get these hands more ahead at impact, Quite often the time something has talked about the left wrist and how the left wrist works. Quite often the time we're getting a little bit of left wrist bowing coming into impact. Because as soon as we bow that left wrist coming into the golf ball, we do get shuffling. That is a perfectly fine way to work on it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But there is also the hand that gets forgotten with this, and that is the right hand. Because I see the right hand be a lot more of a problem when it comes to this, and a really good way to fix in the problem as well. Because I see with a lot of people with their right hand coming into the golf ball, with their palm starting to face towards the target. Which we know if it's their right hand that is initiating this move, we need to focus on that right hand. So if that palm starts facing towards the target, we're gonna end up lofting that shot up. So. We ultimately want this right wrist to stay in more extension or cupping is another word. So if this right wrist stays in more extension and more cupping coming into impact here, what's gonna to happen to my left wrist? It's gonna be in more bowing. I find this way is of this method here of feeling like that palm is facing at the golf ball, I'm palming that ball is a much easier way to get people to bow that left wrist coming into the golf ball. Because a lot of people, you know, if you're a right-handed golfer, what's your dominant hand? It's your right hand. You're going to be having a way easier time at trying to do something with your right hand to achieve what you want. So if we can feel like that palm is really facing down towards that ground as we're getting into that golf ball, that is going to be creating a much better chance of doing this. So you can imagine here, yep, I can just do a drill, feel like my hand and my palm is facing at that ball at impact. That's absolutely brilliant. So if I just do a little one there and slow it, you're going to see how that gives me really nice compression. That really gives me with that shaft leaning forward, it gets everything I want. So, absolutely, you can go ahead straight away and go and do that. But if you're in the golf swing and your right wrist isn't already looking like it's gonna do something like this, it's gonna be very hard to do. So I see a lot of golfers who do struggle with that cast their right wrist will be overly straight throughout the golf swing. So I might see quite often their right wrist be very flat at the top of the swing. And as soon as they start moving down the downswing, the right wrist moving very flat. So of course, if that right wrist is moving very flat and it's not got that extension in it, it's gonna be very hard when you're halfway down with that right wrist being flat to straight away palm that golf ball. It's gonna to be too difficult. You won't be able to do that in that split second. So we need this right hand getting in the structure we want earlier. So a nice feeling I like is getting the right hand and the palm to face the sky at the top of our backswing. Because again, if I'm doing that, if that palm is facing the sky, imagine I'm a waiter holding like a tray of drinks, for example, at the top of my backswing. That's gonna create an extremely good right wrist structure. That's gonna create a bowed left wrist structure as well. So it's gonna create that bowed left wrist. So that's gonna be way easier now for me to maintain that coming down into the downswing, palm that golf ball and hit these nice compressed shots. So really feel like 
your waiter at the top of the backswing holding drinks and then you're trying to almost palm that golf ball almost chuck the drinks to some extent down on the ground but we don't want to be doing that via extending the right arm palming the ball we want our right arm still to be bent as we're going in there we just want that palm facing that golf ball so palm up to the sky palm down to the golf ball that's going to be keeping us in that nice shaft angle nice left wrist being bent or flexed it's just going to work way better for us so let's give it a go So guys, if we can get that right wrist working how we want to, we're gonna be able to hit a lot better golf shots and get into the positions we want to at impact way easier. So like I said at the beginning, at the end here, one of the cards is gonna be the video for why you're casting and early releasing. So watch that and you'll have a much clearer picture of everything we talked about in this video. Because if you're having something that is physically causing you to cast an early release, you need to address that first before you focus on repalming that ball. So. If you like this video, of course, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video. So get that palm facing the ball, you'll compress it more.